everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play Magical Diaries. In the last one, we finished off our first week of school, we met a hot demon boy, and now it's the weekend and we're going to the mall with our friends. Uh, yeah, we're going to the mall. Great! Virginia's coming too, Ellen's coming too, um, but she wants us to have ice cream or breakfast before we have ice cream. Not ice cream before breakfast. Oh, yes, mother. Okay, let's go to the mall. Um, students are lining up outside the school waiting for a free seat on one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. Come on, we can ride together. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Won't people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? Nah. Just act natural, it's no big deal. Virginia, are you sure? Uh, but it's nowhere near Halloween, exactly. Eliza and I are the same person. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose this is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, just act natural, play cool. The mall is not very large or crowded, at least to where I'm standing. Witches and wizards easily outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes, but no one reacts to the site. I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it? Okay, that place does coffee and pastries, they have fresh fruit, that one does baked potatoes, there's a gift shop, there's a cafe, I like how they have a store specifically dedicated to baked potatoes. That's my kind of store. <laughs> Are all these stores magical? No, there's only one magic shop here. They sell wands and stuff. I'm going to get a chocolate croissant, what about you? Oh, options, okay, so we can go to the magic store, food court, window shopping, or games arcade interesting um i don't know i kind of like food we could go to the food court stuff our face a little let's do that one going for food court there are many different kinds of food available here oh we can buy okay i don't want to get a whole lunch because that's like literally all our money we get like a cookie right cookie i get my food and sit down to chat with the other students my snack is tasty, but it doesn't last long. Stress decreased by five. Oh, look at that. Look at us go decreasing our stress. On Sunday morning, I sleep in. There aren't any school activities today that I know of, and I haven't made plans with anyone, so there's nothing else to do. Which just makes me realize I miss my family. Oh, girl. I'm not used to being completely out of contact like this. There aren't even any phones in the dorm, so I can't call home. Dad promised he and Mom would be, would write, but I haven't received anything. Maybe they were too busy on the first day, or the mail was slow. I'm sure I'll hear from them soon. I know your parents hate you. They forgot about you. Sorry, Eliza. No phones, no computers, no television. It doesn't matter much during the week when I'm busy with classes, but on a day like today, it leaves me feeling restless. Poor girl. I think I'll go outside. Cool, we're going for a walk. It's a beautiful campus. I'm careful to stop when I want to admire something rather than keep walking and risk another collision. Yeah, we don't want to piss Snape off more. He already hates us. But while the flowers and paved walkways are nice, what I'm really looking for is something a little more open. Such a sweet girl. I follow the paths away from the main buildings towards the grassy fields. We could play games out here if we borrowed some balls from the gym. I wonder if Virginia was serious about starting a sports team. Oh no, let's ask her. Hey, I think I see her up ahead. She's talking to someone. I don't know. I'll hurry to catch up. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, um. I don't know. Voices. Ah. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk normal. Mostly girls again this year, isn't it? Yeah, both my roommates are. Virginia, why wouldn't both your roommates be girls? You're in a girl house. I pause in mid step. What's she talking about? Me and Ellen? That could be a problem eventually. Ellen and I both had wild magic. Is that the problem? Oh, they're talking about how most of the wild seed people are girls. Okay, I get it. Well, maybe more of us should drop out. The other way would be more fun. <laughs> maybe for you it would. The wind girl laughs. What on earth are they talking about? This is silly. Spies never hear anything nice. I have no idea what they're discussing, and I shouldn't try to figure it out. Girl, no! I'm all about the gossip! Go! Listen in! Eavesdrop! Eliza, come on! Um, I'll only come up with crazy stuff. I'm 
just going to walk away. No, wrong decision, okay? I would have been snooping hardcore. <laughs> At the end of the week, I get the chance to organize my thoughts and belongings, as well as review the spells I've learned so far. Inventory, diary, or next week? I guess we could look at our diary. Oh! It's like everything that happened. Cute! I don't think we have anything. Yeah, we don't have anything in our inventory. Look how cute we are. Yes, girl. Ah, uh, next week. Oh, there's an assembly. Once again, we are all called to the gymnasium first thing Monday morning, only this time there are even more people here. Is this a meeting of the whole school? What's it for? Uh, I asked Virginia if she knew what this was about, but she just grinned and said she couldn't tell me why is this making me anxious. <laughs> Someone steps to the podium, but it's not a teacher. Don't remember what his voice was. Good morning, everyone. My name's William Danson, and I'm your incoming senior president. Okay. But for the next week, half of you will be calling me Sir William. Excuse me? Welcome to freshman initiation. I didn't realize we were joining a gang. Help? Uh, a magical initiation ritual? Before we start, I am required to give you some safety information. What's happening? <laughs> Nothing that happens this week should cause you physical harm. If you're ordered to do something dangerous or that you know is wrong, please go to a teacher immediately. Now, all you freshmen, please line up one at a time. <laughs> I'm so anxious right now. Uh, come up on stage, announce your name and where you come from, and receive one of these initiation handbooks. Okay. Students dutifully shuffle along, announcing themselves one by one. Some of them I've already met. Some names are new. Suki Sato, Jamal Mir, Pastel Rayo, Luke and Logan Pfeiffer. Then it's my turn, and after I state my name, William hands me a stapled together paper booklet. Inside are a bunch of rules and a list of all the members of the senior class, complete with the black and white pictures and full names. According to this, we're required to memorize their names, uh, and throughout the week, we have to address them as sir or lady, whatever. Got it. Uh, and there's more! We have to memorize a silly poem and recite it on command. We must never show our backs to a senior. We must never be taller than a senior. We must always respond to requests with... Wait, William's at the podium again. That's a lot of rules. I already forgot most of them. Okay. <laughs> now, as well as serving as, and honoring the entire senior class, each one of you will become the property of one particular senior. This is getting real weird real fast. <laughs> your senior is your master, your best friend, your worst nightmare, and your only protection from the rest of us. This is terrifying. Stand and wait while we choose. Okay. He steps away from the podium while we freshmen look at each other nervously. The seniors start to move around the room, poking and prodding and calling out orders. This is so, if we did this in my high school, like, no. <laughs> the school board would be having none of it. You're taller than me, freshman. Get down on the ground. Don't turn away from me, freshman. I see your back. Ellen and I end up kneeling back to back and watching as the sharks circle. I'm scared. <laughs> you. <gasps> Oh my god, it's the demon boy! I look up to see Damien standing over me. Of course he's an upperclassman. And this must be what he was saying would happen the next week. Got it. Eliza Pancakes. I think you should be mine. This guy creeps me out so much. Um, okay. Stand up. But then I might be taller. It's alright. You're with me. I need a minute. You don't have to worry about the rules if I'm with you. Only what I say matters. I can't. Here, take my hand. I'll help you up. So we can either take his hand or get up by him by ourselves. Um, well he told us to take his hand. And we technically have to do what he says. So I guess we'll just do it. With Damien's help, I climb to my feet. Come on, I'll walk you to the door. You need to stay by me until you're out of sight of the other seniors. Then you can plan the rest of your week in peace. What a good guy. Like, <laughs> what happens for the rest of the week? More of the same, mostly. They'll boss you around when they see you, make you say embarrassing things. Then on Friday, everyone hugs and makes up. Don't let it distract you too much from your studies. You need to learn if you're going to keep up. Alrighty then, I'd suggest studying blue magic this week. Is that an order, sir? 
Just a suggestion. When I give you an order, you'll know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will turn up to give you some instructions later in the week. I wouldn't be doing my job properly if I didn't give you at least a little bit of a hard time. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> he grins and brushes the back of his hand against my cheek. That's creepy. Good luck, Eliza. Help me, please. With a wave, he leaves me on my own. So what should I do this week? Okay, so we didn't do red or black magic yet, so I think we should do both of those. He said to do blue magic, so I guess we should do that too. So I'm thinking we'll do blue, green, uh, red, and black. And then maybe, because I kind of want like blue and green to be like our mains. Uh, red and black will probably focus on the least, and then white will be kind of like the middle one. But I do think we should focus on doing some gym and studying as well uh, for our strong and smart skills so maybe we'll just study on friday have a chill day that's our week all right here we go blue magic success we gained two blue magic and two stress let's move on oh we're after class i'm walking back to my room when i hear someone yelling up ahead lower freshman yes lady angela ellen bends her knees but the older girl follows suit you're still too tall lower poor ellen tries to make herself even smaller if that senior notices me, she'll just start yelling at me too. I can't make her stop, but I feel like I have to do something. Hey, leave her alone. Is she yours? She's a horse, and this is our hall. You go on now. Wow, Isabel's cool. Whatever. Sorry about that, kids. People ought to be safe in dorms and classes so they can get their schoolwork done. I know I'm not your senior, but if you really need help dealing with others, just let me know. I like her. Thanks. That was a little high. Uh, the older girl nods and goes back to her room, and I come out of hiding. Are you okay? What? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Really? Girl, I don't believe you. I follow Ellen into our room. Hey guys, how's initiation so far? I'm not sure what the point is. It's a bonding experience. I'm not doing much bonding. How else would you know that you'd grow that you'd grown up and become a real witch? By casting spells? Whatever. So who'd you guys get for seniors? I got Balthazar Brundrick. He likes plants. He really likes plants. I think he's got moss growing on him. Virginia, don't be rude. Um, your brother, William. Oh, that's great. He'll be good to you. Mm, alrighty then. What about you, Eliza? Damien Ramsey. Oh no. What do you mean, oh no? He's evil. What? I met him last week. He didn't seem so bad. Look at him. He's a demon. Don't judge by appearances, Virginia. You have purple hair. You don't see me over here calling you crazy. I can't believe you would judge somebody by the color of their skin. Topical. It's not his fault he was born blue. That's not the point. All you've said so far is that he looks bad. He's vicious. He's actually, has he actually done anything wrong or is he just grumpy? If people were calling me evil all the time, I'd be grumpy too. Please don't yell. Whatever, you do what you want. Look, if there's a real problem with him, tell me about it. She shrugs. It's just rumors. Anyways, he's your senior now. Okay then. It's the morning! We're hurrying across campus and the first thing we see is Damon leaning against a, a wall. Cool! I'm gonna end this part here and in the next one we'll see what Damien wants. Hi, hot stuff. Apparently you're evil. I don't know how I feel. But you're very attractive, so you know what? It's fine. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part and this series so far. I'm having so much fun. I like, I'm obs I love this so much. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a super amazing day and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye guys.